This is Foundations Piano, one of my favorite of five free instruments I'm going to be showing you in today's video. But first of all, hi folks, I'm Mike and I hope you're well. That's just one of five free instruments that we're going to be looking at in today's video. Now, some of them are actually free libraries, but they do work with the free versions of the players that they're compatible with, including this first one, which is a choir library. Micah's Choir is the latest free offering from Spitfire Audio for their free Labs player. Now, I've got my favorite preset for this loaded up. It's called Warp Fracture. Let's have a listen to that now. So the namesake for this library, Micah Christian, is a vocalist in the pop quartet Sons of Serendip, who I think because of the pandemic found themselves unable to perform, so he spent his time wisely making this free vocal library for you instead. Now there are a number of different presets, they're quite different to this one actually, but before we get into them, let's just take a quick look at the controls. These controls are fairly common for labs libraries. The first one here is the expression control. Okay, uh, that's really just for volume. This one is the dynamics control. If we put it down low and play this again, let's have a listen. You can hear it's quite soft and then that really brings out the sort of high frequencies there. And then we've got this multi control. If we click on it, we can see that at the moment it's set up to control reverb. Then we've got delay, attack and release as well. So simple controls, easy to use. Now, the other um, presets that we have are really quite different to this. So I'm just going to go to one of them now. You can see all of them here. I'm going to go to, uh, let's see, sustained ooze. OK, we'll try that one first. I'm just going to turn the volume down a tad here and we'll have a listen okay so it's fairly gentle still much harsher are the r's and i know that i'm going to have to put the volume down quite a bit here uh, uh, there's a lovely bit of vibrato comes in at the end of those so look this isn't I'm going to say this is a nice sounding library. It's not really sophisticated um, compared to some of the really commercial uh, vocal libraries that you can get. But really, I do think it's worth you getting hold of it, especially if you tend to produce, say, electronic music and you want to have some of those vocal sounds in there. When you do download it and give it a try, just let me know in the comments down below which is your favorite. Do you agree with me that it's this one? Which one was it? Um, Warp Fraction, my favorite there. Do you agree with that? Let me know in the comments down below. I tried Foundations Piano for the first time yesterday, and I reckon it's one of my very favorite free instruments that I've ever had the pleasure to show you. It's a free library from Heaviosity, and you'll be delighted to hear that it works with the free version of Contact. Lots of you give me stick when I have free libraries that require the full version of Contact, but it's okay. You can ease off of the keyboard today and leave me be. <laughs> Don't do that. Let me know in the comments down below how you feel about this wonderful plugin. Now, in the demo, I have just used a slightly unusual start to it. Um, with some just some piano stabs, okay? And that's so that you can hear the sustain because it's really the sustain of this instrument um, which has all of the spicy bits. So let's have a listen to it now. Thank you. 
Isn't that just dreamy? Now, all of those kind of weird sounds that you can hear are controlled by this big control here, the texture control. If we turn it all of the way down, and I just play that sort of main theme there again. Have a listen. It's just like a regular piano, more or less. But there's quite a lot more to this, actually, apart from that sort of regular piano sound and the texture control that we can see there. Of course, you can hear there's a big reverb on there, okay? So what I'll do, actually turn that texture down again, go down to the effects section and just turn off that reverb and you can get a much more plain piano sound like that. which is all very well, but there's some other great features in here too. If we go up here, we can see that we have a sort of a regular um, envelope there, a tack decay, sustain, release. Nice to have that there so you can just craft the instrument to your taste but then down here we find we've actually got an arpeggiator in here okay which we can apply to the velocity of the notes um, or we can use it as a gate and we can use this for both the piano sound and the texture sound as well and maybe the easiest way for me to demonstrate this is with some of the presets you get a few presets and they're all quite different i'm going to go to muted raindrops yeah now this is using the arpeggiated velocity here let's have a listen to that main sort of theme again Yeah, so you can get some really nice different effects there. And then I'll just go over to the reverse piano pulses, okay? Now this is using the gate arpeggiator. Let's have a listen to this. Now, I reckon you could use this plugin with its sort of basic setup, the foundations piano for sure, for many, many things, and you have that lovely texture in there. I also reckon you could use it as a standard piano sound. You could get some nice results like that, or you could mess around with that arpeggio and get some very decent results. I bet a whole bunch of you are going to look in the description right away to click on the download link for this. You can do that. Let it download while you watch the rest of this video. But let me know in the comments down below if you're doing that. <laughs> Venus Theory Stellar is the first of two free libraries I'm going to show you in today's video, which use the free decent sampler, okay? Now, I just want to quickly tell you that one of the things I like about this particular free sampler or player is that you can download the other free libraries, and there's quite a few of them, from within the plugin itself. You don't have to go off to a web page or anything. So if I just go to the browse button here, you can see quite a number of them here. Not all of them are free. There are a few um, commercial ones here. They're not, none of them are very expensive to be honest with you. But yeah, look, if you download this particular one, Stella, then you know you may as well go ahead and download a whole bunch of other free ones which are here as well. But I like the fact that they've included it there from within the plugin itself. And of course you do have to make an account with them, but uh, very quick and easy. So Stella is a sampled guitar, but I don't want you to get the wrong idea. This is not trying to sort of create the authentic sound of a guitar. There's quite a lot that's been done to these samples, but I think they're just really nice sounds in their own right, okay? So that's that's why I think you should be listening. Now, the first preset that I'm going to play for you is called the finger style preset. Let's have a listen to that now. Okay, so as I say, it's not like one of those fancy libraries where you're going to get all the sounds of a guitar being played with all the different articulations, but I do reckon that's quite a nice sound to use in your productions. Now, there's four different presets you get with this. They're all quite different. I'm going to go to this one, uh, the Granular Waterfall. Let's have a listen to this. I 
I think they could both be used at different times quite easily. There's one more which I'm going to play for you, which is this lo-fi cowboy one, okay? This will get you in the mood for a bit of a western. Now, as I say, when you get the decent sampler, or is it decent sampler? I'm not really sure. But when you get it and you go to browse, you will be able to download a number of different free libraries, all kind of quirky and interesting, including the next one I'm going to show you. If you're going to have a glockenspiel sound in your track, and why wouldn't you, why not have an unusual quirky sounding one? This is the Resonator glockenspiel. Somebody sampled this having picked it up from a flea market. So it does sound kind of quirky. I don't think I've got much to say about it. So let's just have a listen. I don't think I've got anything else to add. Funk bass is a great little plug-in. I reckon especially if you make electronic music because it doesn't sound authentically like a bass guitar, but as I say, great for electronic music. Now, the first preset I'm going to show you here is the sub preset. I occasionally use some sub bass in my productions and I really like this one. It could be a bit of a go-to. Now, I have adapted the preset just slightly by using this filter control to get rid of some of the high-end stuff, which I wasn't liking. But apart from that, this is a great sound. Let's have a listen. Now, if you're listening through speakers, by the way, and especially if you've got a subwoofer switched on, just be careful. It may make things in your room rattle a little bit. Okay, so that's the sub sound. Now, they've also got a uh, this preset called low, a bit of a retro kind of 80, 90s feel to this one. Let's have a listen. And a fretless sound, which, as I say, doesn't sound like a real fretless bass guitar, but you'll see why they've called it that. And finally, I'm going to demonstrate to you their number one preset, which is simply called Finger. And let me know in the comments down below which famous TV series this reminds you of. Did you like at least one of the free instruments you saw today? Are you going to go ahead and download it? Would you like to hear about more free instruments? If so, make sure you check out this playlist right here. This video is actually a part of a series where I cover free instruments and effects plugins as well. Don't miss out. Grab yourself a beverage, sit back and binge.